Hi everybody, this is Tara Love Perry here and um, I had a call from a client yesterday and I just, I, it's inspired me, I wanted to share something from that because this person, um, she came and had three soul reading sessions very intensely one after another and she experienced like massive transformation, she had so much kind of what we might call past life stuff or soul baggage, you know, soul trauma that she'd carried for a really, really long time and was causing a number of um, intense physical complaints and one specific intense physical complaint um, that was giving her a lot of pain and had done for a long time. And it also really, you know, you can see really how it impacted her belief systems about the world and about herself and about others and you know really kind of colored her whole vision and the way she experienced life so we we had a really amazing and um, intense time clearing all that stuff out of her energy field resolving those um, past situations and bringing that back into harmony and and then she gave me this call and she was like ah this basically what had happened the original cause of the of the trigger that had caused the physical illness in the first place had come back up to the surface again, had resurfaced in her life, and uh, which I thought was absolutely perfect. You know, having come from um, an upbringing when my mother was a homeopath, so when you have the original cause surfacing again, you know, that's the sign that absolute healing has happened and is happening. And, um, and that's the best thing that can happen. So um, it was totally perfect and it, was also, it also meant that she was in a place strong enough now that she'd healed so much and come such a long way that she was able to um, go back and deal with the original cause because she was strong enough. So, um, but the thing is that she was, she was experiencing um, the, the same kind of emotional trauma and then her pain started again when she'd just been doing so well because this it was triggered again and my message to her was that you know we have to when we've been highly conditioned we've all been intensely conditioned you know we we've we've got into habits of behavior we've got into habits of thinking habits of reacting habits of feeling even addiction to certain kinds of thoughts and feelings um and i might talk that about that in more detail another time actually because that's massively interesting um but basically that she you know the healing journey you can do so much repair work and clearing and healing but then there comes a point where each person has to really take their life into their own hands. You have to be responsible for your own life. Um, you know, there's only so much a therapist or a practitioner or a, you know, a facilitator like myself or any other person can actually do to help. There comes a point where each person has to take it for their own selves and go, actually, actually I'm okay, I'm just reacting because this is my habitual way of thinking, this is my habitual belief systems, perhaps that, you know, I'm a victim. People always do this to me, or this always happens to me, or, oh, this is happening again. And we kind of label it, and the filters come over our eyes, the way that we've seen things before can come back over, and we label it, and we go, this is it happening again. And it's not it happening again, because we're alive and present, a fresh, in every single moment and it's just that we go back into our memories we go back into the well-read records the well-read pages of our life book and we take them to mean a certain thing we we add so much meaning to them you know um the original cause of this woman's uh, physical illness it wasn't the trigger it wasn't the man it wasn't the thing that had, she thinks had happened to her it was her way of going, I can't cope, I can't deal with this, I'm going to victimize myself, I'm going to be helpless now, um, and I'm going to basically give my power away, I'm going to leave my body, I'm going to detach from myself a certain degree because I don't know how to deal with this, I don't feel empowered or I don't feel supported or I don't know how to do that for myself. 
Um, but she would have read it that actually that it was this guy and it was him doing something to her and this was always happening to her. And, you know, so basically, it's just getting out of this way of thinking, this habitual patterning of thinking and reacting and responding. And that takes training, you know. It's like if you've been in bed ill a long time and your body's out of condition, you can heal the illness. I mean, for me, the healing part can happen really quickly and easily. That's not a big deal. But what it is, it's like getting the strength and the determination and the self-love and the discipline to get up out of that bed and go and do your walking every day, go and do your exercising, go and do your yoga every day, getting that body back into ship-shape condition and prime condition, you know, reconditioning the physical body. And it's the same thing with our minds. And I think a lot of that kind of goes missed. You know, it's like, you know, we do all this healing, a lot of healing and a lot of workshops, you know, so many people have been doing this and we've been doing it a long time. And there's something about actually kind of just looking inside the mind and going, what have I been believing? What have I wanted to believe? And what is it that's actually not serving me there in my belief systems anymore that I have to choose to let go of? You know? Am I going to choose to let go of being a victim? Am I going to choose to actually start reconditioning my mind, like giving myself mind yoga? Am I going to start exercising my mind in a beautiful and healthy way that supports the rest of my being? You know, or am I going to leave it to the habitual ways of thinking and, and always feel like I'm helpless and hopeless and no one can really heal me and I can't really move forward and because that's a horrible place to be and I've been in that place I was ill for a very long time and I totally understand how that feels and it can feel very damaging and very limiting and very restricting and, and I did feel very helpless and powerless and it did take you know and it's actually kind of an ongoing process really it's a constant growth process of reconditioning the massively heavily conditioned belief systems that I have during my life and over my life and it becomes a daily practice just like yoga you know you have to do it every day you have to get strong so I just want you to to understand you know that you can take matters into your own hands yes get all the help and support you need for your healing absolutely you know that's really important as well to be seen and to be heard and to be held and supported and then you have to take it into your own consciousness you have to make a decision that actually you're going to change the way that you see things and like wipe your eyes clean, wipe all the pain and the grit of the past out of your eyes, bring the innocence, bring the fresh eyes of that child inside of you, bring the fresh eyes of truth, your holy truth, your absolute truth, wipe out everything that just seemed really true but's actually causing you pain, therefore isn't true. You know, and be willing to really drink in and take in a whole new truth of yourself and in your reality outside of you as well and get empowered and really you know take that into your own hands take that matter of your own life that you matter into your own hands and change that conditioning go and give yourself a, a brain bath go and give yourself some mind yoga and connect back to the absolute truth of who you are um, so that's just one little bit of a message there. I hope that helps and I hope that works. And sending you all so much love. You know, it has been a very long, hard slog <laughs> in coming out of all of our soul baggage. You know, I really honour the journey that so many incredible souls have taken and what we've carried into this time here right now to clear and dump the lot. You know, we're in a new paradigm now. There is no such thing as history and past that is rapidly, rapidly dissolving as a reality and as a truth. It's been a perceived truth and it's really rapidly dissolving. The now is ever more present, more than ever before. It's a funny thing to try and put into words, you know. There's always someone that's going to argue with me and we could have a whole debate about that. But I'm not really interested in that because you can take from this the truth that you really know in your own heart, whatever whatever words that has, you know, you know what I'm really saying, it's about being in this moment absolutely right now and leaving all that's not true and all of the past, seeming past, seeming not truth behind us. So I wish you so much love and have